Hey guys, welcome to Travel Related. So Trey and I have both backpacked across Europe, and although we went at different times and did different things, there was one experience that we shared that we really wanted to tell you about. We got the chance to go to Prague and have the best beer in the Czech Republic and possibly the world. So we wanted to tell you just a little bit about it and where you can find it. In September of 2015, I was in the Czech Republic and I went to the city of Prague. I highly recommend you go if you haven't been. Now Prague is a really touristy city. Um, I'm always one to try to get away from the touristy areas of a city and try to get something a little more authentic. And Prague is known for its legendary beer. Before I went, I heard about it nonstop, just how great the beer was. So I tried several beers around the river and around the Old Town Square, and they were fantastic. They were really good. But I just had a feeling that it, it wasn't the, the real stuff. I had built a really good relationship uh, with this girl that worked in my hostel. We made a video earlier about choosing the best hostels, and one of our points was choosing a hostel with great staff. If you haven't seen that video, we'll leave a link. She had given me tons of great advice. I had a map I, that she gave me on the first day and she had circled several places for me to go. I told her like, look, I wanna try the beer, but I wanna try the real stuff, okay? I wanna try some real Czech beer. She kind of looked at me and she goes, so, you want to drink with the Czechs? I said, yes. She goes, okay. So she made a little circle on the map and she said, go here. The beer will be very cheap and it would be of amazing quality. So I said, okay, perfect. So when Trey came back from Europe, he was going on and on about this beer that he had in Prague and how it was the best thing he had ever tasted. So naturally, when I was planning my own trip, I wanted to go check this place out. The only problem was he couldn't remember the name of it, where it was, anything. Just that it was a tiny hole in the wall in the city of Prague. Okay, honestly I would have been surprised if he did remember all those things because the Czech language is not that easy to read. Luckily, Trey saved a lot of things from his trip and one of those things included his map of Prague that he got at his hostel. So I saved the location in my phone and when I got to Prague, I made sure to find it. So I went out and I followed the map and found this spot. And it's, the, it's this little bar. It doesn't look like much from the outside. I walked in. I walked into the bar and it was something like out of a movie. You know that feeling you get when you feel like the music stops and everybody looks at you? That's the feeling I got. As soon as I walked in, it was like everything stopped. No music, no conversation. They all just turned around to stare at me. There were no tourists whatsoever. It was all scruffy men over the age of 50. It was all locals. There are tons of tourists in Prague, but you could tell this was the place that only locals went. So I immediately thought, okay, I'm in the right place. I was so intimidated, but I refused to show it. People were kind of looking at me like I was lost. And this one guy comes up to me, he's like, you know, can I help you? And I said, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for some Czech beer. And this guy turned out to be the owner. So we go over to the bar and there's two taps there. That's it. I walked up to the counter. There were only two options of beer. And I looked at the bartender and said, I want a beer. Handwritten, there were numbers. I want to say one was six and the other was 12. It wasn't the alcohol content, but it was, it was something to do with the brewing process. The six was weaker and the 12 was stronger. So he says, we have two beers here. We have this one for men, pointing to the one with the 12 on it. And he said, and this one, this is for children, pointing to the weaker one. And he said, for you, I think maybe this one. Talking about the weaker of the two. He started to pour me this beer and he said in very broken English, something like, this is lighter, more for women. Ah! I take offense to that. He said, which one will you choose? And I said, I want beer for a grown ass man. And he started laughing. So he tells the bartender, okay, you know, 
set him up. So after I finished that beer, I walked back up to the counter, looked at the bartender and pointed to the darker beer and said, I want that one. It was just such a powerful moment for me because he thought that because I was a woman, I couldn't handle or wouldn't like this darker beer. And of course I was out to prove him wrong. So while he seemed very surprised, he poured the darker beer for me and I took it over to my corner. Y'all. I tried it and it was the most amazing beer I've ever had. It was the best beer I have ever had in my life. I knew exactly what Trey was talking about. The owner was, he went in depth telling me about the brewing process and he told me about how, how old the recipe was and how it had been perfected and they had it down to a science. And this guy really took pride in how they make this beer. I have a pretty low tolerance level, so I would have been content with just one drink, but I had a point to prove to all of these Czech men who looked at me like I was in the wrong place. Like I said, around the, around the bar, I was getting some looks because I, I did kind of stick out. And by the end of my second drink, I saw a lot of eyebrows raised and it was kind of like a, hmm, okay, she can hang. So eventually everybody got comfortable with me. I stayed and had a few. And everybody just went back to what they were doing. It was a great time. Uh, it was a really cool experience. I left the bar a little woozy, a lot happy, and I was able to add another incredible story to my travel memories. You need to go to this place if you want to try the real thing. Just for you, we're gonna link the location in the description because if you ever make it to Prague, you have to go try this beer. Today's travel related question is, what do you wanna experience around the world? Is it fondue in Switzerland or escargot in Paris? Or maybe it's beer in Prague? Let us know in the comments below. For more travel related stories just like this, make sure to hit subscribe and give the video a like. Katie and I are blood related, but we could all be travel related. Bye y'all. See you next time.